So I I drew him that. <laughs> oh god, that's so bad. Hey guys, so today we are going to play some mono red power stone artifact ramp. So we're gonna use some red mana and some artifacts. And the idea with this deck is that we are going to try to ramp up using Power Stones and our artifacts to get to these big uh, artifact drops here. Uh, I'll go over the deck very quickly here. So in the early drops, we have Charming Scoundrel, just something to do in the early game, can make a treasure to ramp us. And in the late game, uh, it can also draw and discard a card, which is nice. We have Obliterating Bolt just for some early removal. Uh, one Iron Crag just again for some uh, artifact ramp. Thran Spider, it's an excellent blocker in the early game. The Reach can sometimes be very handy. People don't always expect the Reach. Uh, and then of course just ramps. And then in the very late game, it can also draw us cards if we have the extra mana, which we often do in this deck. Excavation Explosion, not 100% sure about this card yet. Uh, three mana for three damage at sorcery speed is not the best. However, it does hit any target, so you can also hit their face with it or kill a Planeswalker. But the main thing is you get a tapped Power Stone token. So in this deck, it's almost like if it was like three damage, you know, get a land and put it into play kind of thing. So we're going to try it out. Uh, one Celestis, again, more artifact ramp, but also uh, can help us cycle through our cards and find things we need. Cough gets us lands helps us ramp also removal this card i feel like is very good we have two visions of phyrexia um again more card advantage hopefully more power stones pretty obvious we have two burn down the house just in case we need a board wipe which we probably will at some point and then can also make the devils as well if we are trying to kill them um i'm trying out two magmatic galleon so this is a five mana five five vehicle comes into play deals five damage to a creature and whenever one or more creature my opponent controls is dealt excess combat dam non-combat damage sorry uh we create a treasure token so potential more ramp there as well but also just a good mid-game sort of uh removal spell as well so uh, and then at the top end we have our cityscape leveler our skitterbeam battalion and of course portal to phyrexia so we're hoping we can ramp up into these big drops here uh as far as mana goes the usual uh we're playing 25 lands in the deck because i thought about 26 but i'm hoping with all the ramp we have that should be hopefully enough uh and then we have the usual uh we are playing one cavernous souls in this deck just so uh we can name things like construct to make these things uncounterable um so we'll see if that ends up being relevant at all but who knows and then uh blast zone for more removal mirex makes us some artifact creatures 20 21 22 23 24 25 26 i've got oh i've got 26 land in the deck do i just i might just keep that we have enough like card advantage stuff. I'm gonna play 26 lands. We'll see how it goes. If I get mana flooded a bunch, maybe I'll lower it down to 25 and increase like a um, like removal spell or something like that. But for now, we'll leave it as I have it. Uh, 26 land. We're playing nine drops, so I feel like it might be okay. Anyways, uh, sideboard, just a bunch of different kinds of removal, more board wipes and the festivities against things like the uh, poison decks and stuff like that, making a lot of one ones. So uh, let's jump into the games and see how we do with Mono Red Artifact Power Stone Ramp. Okay, game one against Terence Cattivo with our Mono Red Artifact Ramp deck. Uh, we will play first 26 land and we start off with a no lander. Mulligan that, a uh, bit of a slow one, but let's keep it. And we'll start with the mountain opponent playing okay um all right land do nothing we could be in trouble here already opponent maps so we're gonna oh god the bat oh puts it away so they probably already have one or they're gonna play a rafine on turn three um so let's go land i could celeste this here but i think i might just get kill this and get my power stone from it use it while i can next turn we can play the uh galleon here opponent plays Ooh. okay galleon's actually really good here so we'll play that deal five to that can we get a treasure from it that seems really good three four five six okay yep um so i'm gonna wipe the board here i don't want him drawing cards off of the gix 
the question is, so if I go one, two, three and get this, then I can only produce four mana. So do I do that now or do I wait a turn for the... I really don't want him drawing cards though. Like I'm, t I'm tempted to do the Celestis and the Visions. Um, I just don't really want him getting drawing... Yeah, you know, I can't have him drawing cards. I'm going to do this... I'm going to do this while I can before he has counter spells available. We get treasures from that too. At treasure. That seems awesome in this deck. I don't know. Three, four, five, six. So next turn we can play the Celestis and the Visions as well. So they're going to attack us for four. Who mills four? I do. Three spiders. Wow. Okay, so we'll go land. Let's go Celestis. Let's get the Visions out. And start getting more Power Stones. So now we just need to draw one of our big drops here. Um, so if we don't draw one this turn, I'll pr if I draw like a land, for example, I'll probably Charming Scoundrel and then draw and discard to try and find something. It's also tempting to make this into a 2-2 two -two so I can crew the Galleon and attack for 5. I can also make Mirex tokens to help crew the Galleon as well. Opponent bounces my spell. Plays a land. Plays a bat and takes it. Pretty good. Uh, okay, so the question is, do I draw cards off of this, or do I... I think I kill the bat and get my thing back. Drawing two cards is very tempting, but I think I'm going to do this. Take this back. Let's play it. Get more Power Stone. Opponent plays a land. Yep, we got to be careful. This land's doing some damage here. Makes the land bigger. I'm surprised he would keep... Oh, no, he didn't. He put that on, I, thought, I thought he kept that on top. So we haven't milled any of our big stuff yet. Nice. That's what we want to see. Uh, yeah, we'll draw a card and discard. Discard the land. Uh, so let's go... So I might save the leveler or... Do I save the leveler because... Let's go Scoundrel. Do I draw and discard? I'm going to make a Wicked Roll. I'm going to save this for a later turn for him to play a permanent that I can kill. I kind of want to be able to block his man lands here. Let's go with another one. Make another roll. So I'm going to attack with one of these and save the Galleon back to block the land. Wait, what? Oh. Okay, so I don't know why I thought that the Cityscape Leveler got put into the graveyard and that's why it was sitting there like that. I didn't realize that was the card that I was supposed to be playing off of the <laughs> off of the uh, visions. So I'm going to do this. Yes, discard the Iron Crag. Uh, my bad, my bad. I, 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 got, I got excited there. I made a mistake. Ugh. I'm just so used to seeing Cityscape Leveler down on the side there and that meaning that it's, you know, you know what I'm saying. Uh, I'm definitely going to trade my Galleon, unfortunately. He does have another one of those, which is a shame, but... Oh, there goes my uh, portal. All right, let's block here. Yeah, yeah. Okay. So, I, am go I don't want the bolt. I do want that, though. Land. So, I need to be... I gotta be able to block the, uh, the other land here. So, I'm gonna, I'm gonna hold off on attacking. Yep, draw a discard. First time playing the deck. <laughs> Obviously making some mistakes here, but that's okay. Okay, so there's the land. So we're going to double block and hope he doesn't have a removal spell in his hand. I'm going to get milled out here. 
Okay, that's fine. He milled two lands off the top, which is exactly what we uh, want here. So please don't have an instant speed removal spell. So that's all of his main lands, right? We got them all? Excellent. He takes two from that. Let's make a Mirex token. Okay, get a card off the top. Land. Bolt. My god. All right, let's play the land. Let's discard the la discard the bolt and draw a card. The gaining one life is actually really nice here. Um, so take action. Cavern. No, let's keep the bolt, I guess, for future future creatures. Okay, we'll attack for one. 20 cards left in the deck. Attack for one, end the turn. Very mastermind. Wow. So we will definitely be bolting that. Let's draw. I guess we're not going to be bolting that anymore. So we each draw a card, which means he draws two, right? Okay, scoundrel. We just need him to not draw a counterspell. I kind of wish I kept the cavern now. Uh, let's Mirex. We've got a ton of mana here. Does he have a discard card? Shieldred. Okay. So land. Draw and take two. Spider. Okay, so we'll play the land. So six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. So 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. Okay, we can play everything. So let's start with uh, Scoundrel, which can chump block the Shieldred. Uh, let's go Wicked Roll. Actually, you know what? That was a terrible play. Because I could have put the Wicked Roll on one of my guys. Um, whatever. We'll put it on here. Let's put the Spider out. Let's go Big Battalion. And I think we attack all here, right? Because he'll take 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Goes to 3. Gain a life. So I think I decline here, because I don't want to lose the 2 more life from the Shieldred. And we're going to discard the car anyways. First smart move I've made this game so far. So the problem with the Fairy Mastermind is that he can draw cards with it and gain a bunch of life with the Shieldred. And I lose a bunch of life. Oh, God. So he pays three for that, though. Yeah. Down to seven. Draw. I lose two, you gain two. Okay. Oh. Okay, so... Uh, let's bring in... Two Warcraftings to kill Shieldreds. Um, a Braid. I don't. I don't know if they're playing the Schooner in this deck. I think I'll wait to see if they if they have the Schooner in the next game. I'll bring a Braid in for game three. Um, this one. I don't think we need that. I think I think that's good for now. We have enough removal here. Um, so let's go minus one Bolt, and we'll go minus one. We'll minus one of these. We want to reduce the removal. Increase the removal that can kill Shieldred and decrease the removal that doesn't. So let's try that out. Okay. Game two, Terrence Cativo. Managed to win last game despite not knowing what the hell we were doing. But um, two lands and nothing to do and a lot of late game stuff. This is the kind of hand where they play the bat and take my removal and then I just do nothing for four turns. I'm going to mulligan this. Uh, that's better. Let's let's try that out. Put back a mountain. Siren. Okay, we'll go mountain. Probably a bat taking our... Okay, they're going to map again. Get the land. Alright, let's go scoundrel. I'm tempted to discard and draw here. 
Actually, that was a maybe I, I probably should have treasured actually. No, I'm gonna I'm gonna discard and draw. Okay, well, we're trying to avoid flooding out completely here. Uh, let's attack, and then next turn I can explosion, hopefully kill their guy, get a power stone. Okay, let's let's attack. So either they're going to have a counter spell or they're going to flash in the mastermind here, but we'll see. Or not. Yeah, end of turn mastermind. Really? Wow. Opponent duresses and takes my cough. Yep. Okay, we're drawing way more land than we want to. Uh, let's attack here. And then we can uh, Mirex token. Opponent plays a land. And does nothing, so we'll Mirex. Looks like they're going to kill our... Yep. Get a mountain, yes. Are they going to flash in the Merfolk and counter my Mirex thing? Okay. Oh, my goodness. Okay. Too much land. Um, They didn't ha they didn't show us a counter spell before. I'm ta I might just make the tokens here and try. They might have a counter now. But we're already, we're already pretty far behind right now. Like, as far as... Like, they have five cards. And yeah, something's happening here. I guess that makes sense, but we got we got to try to make moves here when we're this far behind on, uh, you know, we have two lands and nothing going on, and they have, well, that would have been nice to have, but they would have countered. Oh, look at that draw! So the question is, do they have another counter spell? Sweet, nice. Okay. Yep. Okay. There's the schooner. Okay, so let's scoundrel and uh, draw a discard here. Discard, draw. Well, that's not bad. Um, do they have a man land here? No. Uh, okay, let's attack. There's a chance they flash in a creature and then crew up the schooner, but... Okay, they kill our land. Let's make a Mirex. Filtering the lands out of our deck is very good. Okay, opponent draws. Yep, that's a good one. Gets the land, plays the land. So I don't think they'll crew here. Yeah. Oh my god. The 26 lands is hurting me. 7, 8. Well, we'll play it because we want to be able to... 7, 8, 9. We can play a thing off the top. We're not going to attack here. He'll just crew his... Uh... I mean, he's at 9, so we could have attacked maybe, but... Bat gets nothing. But... He can crew it and grow it. So we really need to draw one of our big spells here. There's the man land. Let's take it. Come on. Koth is decent. So if we, we can up it and pull more lands out of our deck and then put this to six, which gets it out of death range. Or we can use it to kill one of the flyers and then it'll just die. Let's find a land. If we can keep the pressure off of us and put it towards Koth for a couple turns, that's pretty good. Uh, I'm going to keep this in my hand for now. We have enough mana to cast anything we draw. And if in case we draw like a Celestis or another Scoundrel, I want to have something that I can discard. Um, So do we attack here while he's tapped out? I think I'm going to do it. Or hang on. No, I want blockers back. 
Cancel attacks, no attacks. He's going to animate the man land next. And I want to be able to hopefully save my Koth. Right now, we're just trying to survive till the later, until we can draw something big. And if not, we're probably going to fall pretty far behind here. But opponent crews makes his land. Everything at Koth. Grow your guy. Uh, <laughs> there it goes. Okay. Um, so I think we want to save the Koth here. What else does he have? Go for the throat. Uh, yeah, we can still save it. Um, the good thing for them is that now I can't minus it to kill his uh, bat. Okay. I am, uh, after this game, I'm taking lands out of my deck. Uh, search for a mountain. 26 is too much, clearly. No attacks. So I wonder if we draw a Skitterbeam Battalion, if that will be enough to kill him. Okay, good. Have we milled any skitter beams yet? No? So there's a chance we could rip one off the top. <laughs> Alright, that, that's great. I know I'm playing 26, but that's a bit much, I feel. I feel like I just drew... Um, so am I dead this turn? Four. Yeah. Alright. Alright, well. So let's go minus a land, because that's... It's killing me. Um, let's put the abrades in. I think 25 lands is fine. Um, and let's go minus... Let's go minus one bolt. Actually, I'm going to go minus... I'm going to go minus both bolts and put in one Brotherhood's End. Brotherhood's End does also negatively affect me, but if I don't have any artifacts in play and they have a schooner, I can kill the schooner. All right, Terrence Kativo has been sideboarding for an awfully long time. There we go. Okay, game three against Terrence Kativo. On the play this time, hoping to not get a bad opening hand. Play first. Uh, a little slow, but let's keep it, though. I don't want a mulligan again. Tap land from the opponent. More land for us. So we're going to go for the turn three, Celestis. Both me and the opponent off to a somewhat slow start. Um, so they play a big creature here. We can next turn, we can uh, Might Stone here, which we absolutely will, because that thing cannot survive. So the question is, do I Might Stone it, or do I just burn down the house it? And hopefully, and then draw cards off of the Might Stone. This is going to ramp us into our battalion. I'm going to do this now. Minus five. Because four, five, six, seven, eight. We're like only a land away from bat battalioning. So unless we get the bat, which might just take our burn down the house instead. Oh, it takes it. Okay. Schooner. Um, yeah. So we have the mana to play it now. I really want this back. I could just do one ones here. And then eventually, like, one of them will die and I can just ping the cat. He'll grow this, though, right? I, I'm just going to do this now. It feels it feels bad to spend five mana to kill a 1-1. One, one. But I think it's important that I get the bat. When I have the battalion ready to go. So if he plays a... So here's the thing. If he plays a shield right here, I might have to burn down the house again. No. Nope. Attack. All right, so we're sending down 12, 12 damage here. Yep. Opponent hits, draws a card. Land. That's pretty good, too. So I think I do this while I can, though. And then I can play the, play the uh, Galleon next and kill his thing here. 
So preacher. All right. Um, so six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So we can do both of these. So I think we're going to galleon first and try to kill his, uh, his Gix. If he counters this, I'll probably just play the burn down the house with the the one ones. Does he have it? He does. So let's do this. Let's make the one ones. I'm pretty sure that's game, right? Yeah, it is. Okay. Okay, round two with mono red ramp artifact power stone ramp against Audra deck. Uh, we will play first. Um, again, fairly slow. Nothing really to do in the first literal four turns, but maybe we'll draw into something. I don't want to mulligan. Hopefully the opponent's not playing like a super fast deck. So swamp. Okay, land. Same deck as last time. Uh, let's go Iron Craig. We are now set up for one of our five drops if we want. Opponent's playing Esper, it looks like. Uh, so let's go land. Um, let's... So we're probably going to get countered here. Do I want to burn down the house and make three one ones and start attacking? I think I want to save this for now. Or I can do this and start getting the... Let's do this. Let's see if it lands and... Okay, so no counters. It looks like there was no no stick there. Ramp up a little bit here. Opponent plays a land. Does nothing. So off the top we get a land. Which we will play. So we need to watch out for uh, Urtai or whatever his name is. So I think I want to... So three, four, five, six, seven. We want to save the Skitter Beam for when we have nine. Let's attempt to do one of these... Get some one ones out. If they play the, if they have the Urtai. Make disappear, pay it. So, <laughs> sweet. Okay, let's attack. Okay. Okay, plays a tap land. Plays a trespasser. So four, five, six, seven mana off the top. That's pretty good. Uh, let's play our land. I think I will play this. I'll have to discard a card, but I think I'm okay with that. So kill that, resolve. Uh, let's go with... So three, four, five, six, seven, eight mana. Which one do I want to... Let's get rid of this one. Although that, that hits face though, so maybe that was a terrible play, but now we have enough mana to play our, uh, let's attack all. Right, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So we have the mana now to play our battalion, so. So land. Opponent does nothing. Let's put one charge counter on our blast zone. Because why not? So off the top, we get a land, which is nice. More land. Let's play the one we got off of the thing. Um, so possibly more counter spells. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So if we battalion here fully, he could probably make us appear it. I might just burn down the house or play this you know what if I play this for five I can crew the question is how bad am I going to need a board wipe eventually I think I'm not I'm going to play more one ones and see if I get countered One, two, three. if I do get countered I can still play this for five and crew uh, let's crew up here crew two of these I could have also still played that. Nah, I think we don't want to do too much here. We don't want to over 
overcommit to the board and then get like um, farewell or something like that and then have nothing to do. Right now we're in a good position where if he can deal with all this somehow, I can follow up with that, so. Opponent plays. Wandering Emperor, yep. Exiles our ship. Okay. Gains two. So they don't. They probably don't. If they want, they, they don't want to kill one of these because then I can ping off the Wandering Emperor, right? Um, let's let's kill this now. Okay. We still have the mana. If we want, we can always increase this by one. We have two mana available here. We can put another counter if they play like a good three drop. Yeah, there's a removal spell. Killing one of our devils. Okay, pass. So if he plays like a bunch of good, like a Rafine here or something like that, we'll definitely blast zone up and then kill it next turn. So land. to fairy. Okay. Makes a 2-2. Two -two. So we get our card. Oh. So I want to play the Battalion and just go for the kill here. But I don't know if I can not play this right now. Well, it goes off. No counters. Okay. Well, then we get the concede anyway. So, all right. Game one down. Um, this card deals 5 damage to a white or blue creature or planeswalker, which might be good if they're playing like the Wandering Emperors and they're playing uh, Teferis and stuff like that. Let's bring in two of these. If this is going to be like a grindy, controly match, I want to keep all my card draw engine stuff. Um, Obliterating Bolt also kills all those things. Even though the portal just won the game for us, I think it might in this matchup actually not be that great because... He's not playing, like, he doesn't do anything against Planeswalkers and stuff like that. So I'm going to reduce it by one. Um, Might Stone. I didn't see the... Sh I didn't... Re All right, let's go minus an Obliterating Bolt, minus a Portal. Add the Lithos in and see if they do anything. I mean, to be fair, the Obliterating Bolt also deals four to a Planeswalker. So I, I don't know if that is going to be a relevant change, but we'll, we'll find out. On the draw... One lander. The scoundrels would definitely help us get through it, but if I don't draw the second land, then I'm totally screwed. Uh, let's go with that. Um, put back one of the visions. So land. It's actually pretty good. Iron. Whoa. What's happening? Okay, we're frozen. Wait for program to respond. Okay, hopefully we're still alive in this game. The The system crashed on us and kicked us out, so we'll... All right, we're still here. Um, so, what, did I miss a turn? I'm very confused. Um, so the system, obviously, this system crashed on me, and now I'm... Uh, okay, well, let's go... This naming construct. Uh, let's try to get the visions down. We're definitely like behind like a turn now, it looks like, but. Yep. Counter is my spell. Trespasser. Hmm. So I think I'm going to try to get down the... I'm going to have to discard a card, but... So three, four... Let's discard the leveler, because we can still play it from the graveyard, and we're not really close to playing it anyways, so... We'll do that, get a treasure. Three, four, five, six mana... So next turn, we're going to try to play the Koth and get more land. And we will draw land. 
Um, so three, four, five, six, seven. So we're cl close to playing. So I think I just play the Koth here. I feel like we're going to get countered here, but... So I'm hoping I'm able to edit this together. Oh, yes, nice. Okay, so let's get our land. I'm hoping I'm able to edit this back together because that just cut my thing off and I had to reload the program. So we'll see how that looks in the end. Um, so I could hit them for three and get another three, four, five, six, seven. So I'm going to eight next turn. I could do this right now and then I could play this next turn. But I think I'll save the removal. I can always cityscape leveler next turn. Although maybe I should have done that. Because this is uncounterable now because of the cavern. We'll see. Opponent. Shieldred. Yikes. Okay, so next turn we're definitely going to level her, kill the Shieldred, and attack the Planeswalker. So let's go Mountain, Leveler, Auto Pay. Yes, yes, attack. Attack the Planeswalker. Kill the Shieldred. We just want to have like a good path cleared for this battalion. So having a 4-5 in play is not what we want to see. So 5, 6, 7... Unfortunately, now we can't play it next turn, but... So Memory Deluge attacks us. Okay, uh, let's attempt to kill this and get a Power Stone. Probably should have played this first to try and lure out possible counter spells, but that's okay. Two, so five, six, seven, eight. Let's go Scoundrel. So I can either make a treasure to guarantee that I can Battalion next turn. Or I can put a Wicked Roll on it and crew my Galleon. If they were at a lower life, I think I would do... Oh, I'm overthinking when they're going to counter anyways. So we want to draw a land here, right? If I don't draw a land here, I probably have to play the Battalion for five. Deluge again. So, yes. Okay, let's send him in. Yep. Crew. Yep. Next, next. Attack all. Okay, so now we just need them to play creatures. We want them to tap out for creatures. So we can portal them. Okay, exile something. Sure. Yep. One, two, three, four, five mana. So tap out for a creature. Please. Um, so six, seven, eight, nine. So I can play this, but it doesn't do anything yet. So I think I'd rather do this. Put the roll token on it. And crew the ship. And hope to attack for lethal damage. Because then they have to deal with two creatures. They have to, have to be able to kill two of these creatures to survive this. They might just have a uh, another Wandering Emperor. Which would make the most sense. Void Rend. Uh, no, I don't want to crew it again. So Void Rend destroys my ship. Double Void Rend. Wow. All right, opponent goes to three. Do they have a way to come back from this? Two, three, four, five, six. So they have nine mana. They could play a Behold the Multiverse, or it's called. Underdog. So let's go for the portal. It works. And we win. Okay. Pretty good. Okay, final round with uh, Power Stone Big Red uh, against Fury... Furyx? Furyx? 
I'm going to say Furyx. That sounds cooler than Furyx. Um, we have a two-lander, but we have the Iron Crag into Spider. So let's keep it. I have to say, this card, this Magmatic Galleon, has been much better than I expected it to be. Opponent plays a Swamp. We will play a Mountain. Playing against a lot of black today. I guess black is pretty good right now. So is it blue-black again? Schooner? My god. Uh, all right, Iron Craig. So land. Oh, God. Yep. Well, the obliterating bolt will be good here. That's a shame. So land. Um, so we could do something like this and try to ramp further, but I think I think killing the Gix is pretty important right away. Unfortunately, I'd love to play more than one thing here, but or something bigger, but I don't think we can let the Gix live. It just draw, it draws them too many cards. Oh, Spyglass Siren, okay. Maybe hold some counter spells back. So I'm definitely gonna bring in the Abrades against this. The opponent attacks for three. Gets another land. Okay. So map on the Siren. Another schooner. Okay, so opponents tapped out. Um so the question is, do I wanna like he needs some he needs to be able to crew this, right? He might have more creatures in play, but I kinda wanna kill this just in case there's the chance that he doesn't. This does ramp us up another power stone as well. So not the biggest play. I, like obviously playing something I could have played like this and killed it, but I think I'd rather save that for something bigger. So we're just kind of hoping that he doesn't have more creatures to play. Just spells and lands. Malcolm, yikes. Crew. Wow, he's drawn <laughs> four lands off of his uh, schooners. Plays the man land, yep. Okay, um, so four, five, six. I'm going to do this for now and, and try to kill the Malcolm. Um, I'm going to take a big hit from get a treasure, which I always forget. That's so nice. Um, so... So seven mana. So next turn we can play the spider and the visions. Or not. Counting my mana to see if uh, I'm close to playing one of these, obviously. Takes the portal. Okay. Yeah, he takes the thing that can kill the bat, right? Which makes sense. Cruise it up. So nothing in hand, though, which is nice. We don't have to worry about any counter spells right now. We get to do whatever we want. Cruise both schooners. Scary. Yep. Land schooner. Might be enough, though, honestly. Like, down to five. So three, four, five, six, seven... So we need blockers, right? So let's play this. Let's play the spider out. Gets our thing. One, two, three, four. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So if I play the scoundrel, I can make the treasure, which will get us to our next turn battalion. Or I can put a roll token on it, and then I can crew it with... I think I have to do that, because there's too much coming next turn, right? So I'm going to put this on here. Now I can crew the battalion. I need, I need two blockers, right? To survive, at least. Still might not be enough, but I... He's going to attack with the mainland. 
a schooner, both schooners in the mainland, and I'm at five. So I need two blockers. So if I can draw a land off the top, I can if I can, if I can live this turn, I can I can land off the top battalion for twelve, but crew the galleon. Oh, it's not impossible. It doesn't look good. Oh well. <laughs> That's probably just game then, isn't it? But now we can't. But now we can't do his man land, right? Can he? So crew the bat. Crew the token. Hit me for nothing. Because I block here and block there. <laughs> okay. All right. Come on. Ooh. Okay. Um. So the question is, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I'm so close. So I think I kill the shieldred here. I might just die though. Yeah, sure, crew it. At three. So do I have to play this for, for five now? Because so next turn he can man land, crew his guys, and then I yeah I, I die right so I, I have to play blockers then. So not what I wanted to do obviously. Not what I wanted to do. But I have to have the blockers down. Can't attack yet. So we need to be able to draw like another big thing. We need to be able to draw like another um So mainland, yes. So mill four. So do I block do I double block here? I think I just It has death touch. I'm too afraid to double block if he has like a removal spell. And then he can just two for one me. Ooh, those all would have been very good cards, but. So I think I have to block here. We do have the option of paying seven to uh so we kill his mainland. Does he have another one? No. So land. We'll play this out. Two, three, four, five, six. So we can't quite do this as well, but so we get our power stone token. We can so we're gonna not block. We are going to uh, end of turn blast zone for two. That will kill both schooners and the bat, giving us back our thing here. We just need to not die before that happens. It'll kill our scoundrel, and that's it, and our iron crag. So opponent Mirexes. We're gonna wait till end of turn for the blast zone increase to try and maybe they'll commit more to the. So we definitely need to just survive here right now. So we're gonna block everything we have to. Oh man. Is that game? Did they kill my spider? Yeah. And then crew, crew, attack all. I think that's exactly three, right? Because I can't, I can't block. I take the two in the air, and then I have to take at least one from the. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. So we would go. Block, 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 and take three. Is there anything else I'm not seeing here? Is there a life I can gain somewhere? Good game. I 
Activate Blast Zone for no reason. Yeah. Um. So let's go with the Abrades. Let's go with a Brotherhood's End. Times two, I'd say. Uh, let's go with a Warcrafting. I think both visions should go. They're it's they're too slow. Uh, let's go minus these. These don't kill enough. I feel. So let's try that. Okay, game two against Furyx with our red artifact ramp deck. We will play first. We will keep that. We have our anti-schooner technology here ready to go. Okay, so mountain, siren off the top. Let's go mountain. Let's go treasure. I want to get moving towards a uh, bigger, bigger drop here. If opponent goes schooner. We can, ooh, bat. Probably take the abrade. Spider should be good here. It'll ramp us and give us a uh, blocker for these flyers. Takes the spider. Okay. I mean, I guess that's good because for them, because I, now I have to use my... Oh, never mind. I was going to say, I have to use my Abrade to kill this, and then he can play his uh, Schooner out freely, but we drew another removal spell. So we'll get back our Spider, and now we can keep our Abrade and react to their Schooner if he plays it. So if they tap out here with nothing too big, I might just play the turn 5 Battalion and start attacking. Okay. Sure. Mm hmm. There's the Urtai, yep. Yeah. Uh, uh, let's actually. Let's kill that. Now we can't play the, the battalion next, but it was going to be a 3 3 anyways, so that's okay. We have our. Spider here. Let's attack. So opponent has the air tie now. They main phase it. I'm actually pretty okay with that because now I can play the battalion and not care. Burn down the house. Let's save that. Okay, and let's attack. Opponent trades one. So I'd like to be able to use the burn down the house to make the one ones to attack with, but if he plays like a shieldred or whatever, we might have to. Hmm. That sucks. More land. Okay, so here's the issue. If my burn down the house gets countered, I'm in big trouble. If I wipe the board right now, I'm so far behind because I'll have a land in hand and he'll have three cards and be drawing into a fourth. And I feel like I'll never recover from it. So I think I'm going to make the one ones and just try to get the damage through and hope. Because he's only at 12, right? And when he draws cards off the Gix, he loses a life. So if he kills one of my devils, I can ping off his Gix, right? So down to six. We just need to not draw more land. We need to draw relevant damage dealing spells. And have him not gain life. So no shield drain. So he's got to be careful here. He can send attackers and draw cards, but the drawing cards deals damage. And the devils... Yep. I think he's looking for that shieldred. Ooh, okay. Uh, yeah, let's let's go for it. Lands, tokens, counters the. Yeah, nice. Actually, that gets a nice. Uh, send everything. So block.
Okay, opponent at two, facing down three devils. So he needs to gain life here or exile my devils. He can't block them. Okay. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven damage. Is he trying to kill me here? So take eleven, go to five. Draw a card. Does he have a way to live? Like <laughs> draw a card. Yeah, okay. There could be some important sideboarding here that I'm not seeing. But I think I'm just going to leave it as is. Okay. Game three against Furyx. A um, lot of land, but we have the Abraid, which is important. So let's just... Oh, no. <laughs> now it's a very bad hand. Oh, my God. Okay. Well, if he takes my Koth now with the bat, I I'm pretty sure... I'm not coming back from that. Yeah. Well, Blast Zone can at least... No more land, please. Okay, we're really relying on... If he plays a Gix here, we're, we're really in trouble here. So land. I guess they would have played the Gix if they had it first, right? Okay. Malcolm. Another two drop, so we could get a, a juicy, uh... Oh my god, seriously. Alright, let's hold off. So, end of turn, we will blast zone up. Will he play another two drop, is the question. He does! Does he not know how blast zone works? You get nothing from that one. Land... Okay. Draw a card, discard a card. Yeah, end of turn. Put a counter on it. Whoa, oh my god. Well, let's do it. We have to do we have to do it now because uh he might flash in that uh Merfolk guy and counter the blast zone effect, so I have to do it. So, main land activate. Yeah, I don't want any of those cards, so that's perfect. Another Koth. Okay, so let's go Koth, and we will up it. And hopefully this will take some of the pressure off of... Uh, hopefully the main land will now target the Koth instead of us, but we'll have to wait and see. Preacher. Yeah, I'm just going to kill it, so... That's fine. Um, or attempt to kill it at least. Does he have a... No? Okay. Uh, Alright, let's go here. Uh, I think we really want to um, draw a discard here. I don't think these lands are... <laughs> uh, I'm going to keep back the Scoundrel. Mastermind. Okay. Okay. Yeah. So he wants to... He doesn't draw a card if he hits me or the Planeswalker, right? Okay. Okay. So let's go Mirix. So five, six. Let's go Celestius. We can start getting some life back. Let's go search for a mountain. So the question is, do I just play my other Koth now and kill the Gix before he can draw more cards? Or do I wait and hope that he tries to kill the Koth with his... He's also... Uh, one, two, three, four... He can almost play the Gix ability too. So if I play the Koth here and kill his Gix, 
It cools down to one loyalty, and then you can just attack him with the Mastermind. I can also block the... Oh, man, that's a tough call. Thinking. Um... Let's wait. It might be a bad play. It might have been smarter to just kill the Gix right now while I can, but... So opponent does not activate main lane, which is kind of alarming, to be honest with you, but... So we'll block here. So he lets the Koth live, which means I can next turn minus the Koth, kill his creature, and then play another Koth. Which seems good. I land. My turn. Okay. I will absolutely do this. Nice. Discard us. Land. Ew. He gets to draw a card, doesn't he? Probably really bad. Um, alright, let's let's minus the Koth. Try to kill the Gix here. So I I drew him that. <laughs> oh god, that's so bad. I literally drew him that with my stupidity. Alright, let's go Koth again. He doesn't have another one, does he? So kill that. Play the spider. Which can block the uh, mastermind, which is nice. It can actually block both creatures, which is good. What does he have in his hand? Oh, okay, Mirex. Yep. So that just is helpful. Never mind. Man, we are really uh, drawing a lot of lands these games. So Bat takes nothing. Yep. Is that Holy Sentence? So do I let my Koth go to kill the Mastermind? I think I do. Like, at this point in time, Koth is really just drawing me lands. So I think I want to... Man. Uh, let's draw a discard. You can have my mountain. Oh, my God, that's really good. The question is, do I... Like, if I do that, do I just lose to... The mainland? I think I just play, make the one ones here, right? Because then he can't really attack because I can ping off his guys. Wow. So kill that. Ping. Ping. So he can do his mainland still. Wait, did I? Yeah. So he can still do his mainland and hit me. I don't know if I block this though. I might just take it and go to one. Because I really want to be able to draw off of the Thran Spider ability. Thirty cards in my deck. Yeah, I think I go to one. Which is scary against the Mirex in play, but Alright, let's draw the leveler. No target. I'll keep this. Because I want to be able to... Uh, two attacks from this and it kills him, right? So I will definitely trade the main lane for that if... Gross. He has just the one of the main lands? Yep. Trade it is. Okay. Land. All right, let's draw a discard. The ship. So I think I want to save that and probably just Mirex. End of turn. Five, six, seven, eight, nine. Well, that sucks. 
I mean, we can at least cityscape to kill it. Yep. Uh-oh. That's not good. So that life gain is super important right now. Uh, yeah, that's good. And land. So if we go land, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, right? That three, four, five, six, seven, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, so we can do this. We can kill that. So we could level her here, but I think we'll just do this and deal five to this. Get a treasure. Let's attack. This thing can't block anyways. So we're going to take damage from his Mirex. We can still gain a life from the... from our uh, Celestis. We have to draw a discard and lose whatever we get, but... Hopefully it's a mountain. Opponent maps. Siren on top. Gets rid of it. Down to one. Celestis. Mastermind, wow. So mastermind, yeah. oh nice, okay. We lose that. Ooh, that's so good. Does he have a counter spell? <laughs> I have to go for it, right? Please don't have a counter spell. Yep. Yep. Make a token. Crew the ship. One, two, crew. Attack? What is this thing in his hand? Does that... Does, that doesn't do it, though, does it? Okay, <laughs> crazy games. Uh, okay, pretty crazy games with uh, Mono Red Artifact Ramp here. Uh, that was actually a lot of fun to play. Um, I played kind of the same deck three times in a row, so I don't know if this deck is just good against that deck maybe. Uh, so it may not be a very accurate indicator of how good this deck really is in the format, but pretty fun games. Uh, the Magmatic Galleon was way better than I expected. Um, getting that extra, in this deck in particular, getting that extra treasure from it is super relevant when it comes to ramping up. Um, yeah, I thought the deck was pretty good. I don't know what else to say about it. I think I'm going to keep playing it and see how it does against other decks in the format. But um, there is a deck list for this in the description below. Uh, take a look at that if you'd like. And uh, yeah, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.